Hey everyone, I'm Omar Bahati, Design Director of Space Shack. I've recently renovated my apartment. Let's head on in and I'll show you around. So I purchased my two bedroom flat earlier this year and it was a huge achievement really excited about the whole process but it's a new build i completely stripped the whole space out as i wanted to make it my own usually i'm working with clients this time it was my own space so this project is extra special So I really wanted to make this new build kind of my own and wanted to get away from the cookie cutter design that everyone else has got and make it unique to my personality. I wanted a warm, homely kind of atmosphere. So I decided to go for neutrals with deep tones and warm textures. I think it's really important to bring your own stamp when purchasing a new build development. A lot of them are the same, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments, the same cookie cutter style. So you want to bring your own personality, inject some color, inject some life and texture into the space to really make it your own. As we all know, there's a lot of planning and preparation that goes into home renovation projects. I think it's key to keep an open mind and when you're going through the design process to give yourself some kind of free space to change the design and change certain elements because as you're doing the whole process, you may grow, you may change. So it's nice to keep that open mind. For example, when I had the arch wall behind me installed, it was originally meant to be a khaki green lime wash paint, but once the plaster was done, I loved it so much that I asked him to seal it and it was perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I chose Lix Grey Joe 1 for the bedroom. It was a perfect choice for the entire neutral scheme. It had green undertones and worked amazingly with the linen headboard and the black accents. So I always start off my design journey with Pinterest. It's a key tool for me to use for me and my clients and for this project it was no different. I started by going onto Pinterest and choosing all the interiors and schemes that I liked and then decided to build a mood board based on that. I pinned Grey Joe 1 by Lick as that was a key colour that I really liked and started to build all the different colours around this. So what do you think of the painting? Yeah, it goes on really well. It's got a nice body to it. And where we've gone around the room on various woodworks, it's giving it the same, same body throughout. It's actually worked really nice. then chose Ted Todd's floor in a chevron cashmere warm tone, which was a perfect pairing. Now in the ensuite bathroom, I've chosen to go for the dark green marble look tile and offset this with the concrete tiles and other walls. I think it's a perfect color combination and transition to the bedroom where I used the Grey Joe one and I feel like it gives me a whole sense of calmness. So now that the space is finally complete and the entire design scheme is implemented, I can actually enjoy the space. I feel like the choice of colors and the textures and materials that I've chosen to implement into this space has really given me a homely, calm environment, which is perfect after a long day of work. You can follow me across socials at Space Shack LDN for more design inspiration.